you can edit existing scenes. In the Macro Mapping tab, you will see a list of lighting scene thumbnails. Hover the mouse cursor over one, then click on the Edit button. This will take you to the Scene Editor. Here you can see the saved sequence per lighting fixture of the scene you have selected. Here you can edit the dimmer, colour, strobe and pattern of these lighting fixture types. Please note that pattern only applies to moving head fixtures. In each light row, you can click and drag this line up or down to affect that light's brightness. You can also zoom in and out using the zoom buttons at the bottom right. Clicking anywhere on the line will create a dot. This allows you to edit from that point onwards. If you click and drag the line either side of that point, it will only affect that side. If you click and drag around that point, you can select it and press Q to snap it to the beat grid. This is useful for timing lighting changes to the music. Some lights accommodate moving head fixtures. Click and drag in a light row for the duration you want to move the light for. Then select colour, gradient or stroke. Colour will set the light to that colour. Click the moving head button, choose a pattern or motion and set the speed and other settings. Gradient will change the colour for the duration selected. And Strobe will flash the light. To save the changes, press the save button on the upper right section. You can press play to preview the motion of that moving head. You can return to the macro mapping screen by pressing return on the top left. In the Macro Mapping tab, you can also create a lighting pattern from scratch. Click the plus button shown on the lower part of the lighting preset thumbnails. Select the number of bars, enter a name for the lighting pattern, and click OK. This will create a blank scene that allows you to start from scratch. Each lighting type will be listed and the available options will be editable. To save the changes, Click the Save button on the upper right section. The newly created lighting pattern can also be used for presets in macro mapping and for switching lighting patterns. 